morning everybody we are in Mexico and today is a very exciting day because it's warm outside I'm away from Montreal I'm away from Canada's cold and I am doing a photo shoot this morning the weather is beautiful the Sun is out the ocean is blue totally what I'm looking for it's perfect are you with me? Thank you for looking at my little productions and thank you for joining me and don't hesitate to go on the bottom right corner and press that little button and subscribe to my channel. So today we're shooting with Eric and we're doing outdoor shoot because in Montreal we can't really do that it's way too cold and I don't want to be in my bikini in my backyard in the snow I don't want to be in the snow period so I have a very particular idea in mind that I want to create this morning and as a well-behaved Capricorn I am going to give the photographer my instructions I'm also an artist and that's what I do. I have a very precise idea in mind of what I want to achieve as a shot, what I'm looking for, the angle. So of course I'm going to have the photographer get wet and dirty the same way I'm getting wet and dirty because it's by combining our forces that we're going to be able to create the greatest content or at least the content that I'm looking for. All that for your eyes, of course. I really hope you like it. So we're shooting. It's not necessarily evident to have the right pause to work with the lighting because you're not in the eye of the camera. So it's not like you're in front of a mirror and you say, oh yeah, this position looks really good. So you have to really go trial and error. But by experience, you have a little bit of an idea. And when you're looking for a shot, you have to work in collaboration with the photographer and tell him, listen, man, you have to get up on the ledge. Come on, do it. Yes, do it. Do it. That, yeah, that's right. And now we're actually going to be able to get that shot that I'm looking for. And yes, it's going to be a very flattering bomb bomb shot because today the bomb bomb is being appreciated and celebrated and this is great. I wish I knew that as a teenager because as a young girl, the fact that that bomb bomb was round and perky and up there, it created a lot of grief in my life. I was very, very... Uh, uncomfortable and criticized and people think oh you're so fat and and blah 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 because of the bomb bomb that was there and um, little did I know that it would be the key to my success as an adult funny enough I wish I knew that as a young girl I would have felt a little less um, insecure about my appearance yeah, insecure is the right word. And now it looks good. At least I could enjoy it a little bit. And voila, the shot in question that I was looking for. Now I'm looking for something else. I want to be laying down and I want to look like comfortable, like I'm just relaxing in the sun. And we're looking for the best angle. And that's not the best angle. So let's go on and let's work it out that's right and that's the shot I really like this one I love that bikini too available on my store fashionablebrat.com and now we move to the beach so shooting outside is always a big dilemma because you have to fight the element I will apologize for the camera being crooked. Um, uh, I'm sorry I didn't see it before. 
and uh, it's basically because the camera is lying on the lounge chair on the beach and uh, voila so I'm sorry about that so here we go we're starting with the poses and again I'm going to explain the photographer what I want and in order to get that shot that I'm looking for I'm walking down the beach making pauses effort and checking back if Mr. Photographer thinks it's good with the lighting and everything so let's do it again so posing and being static is one thing, but um, you also have to take the, um, how can I say that, you have to, to move, you have to move and you cannot stick in one pose thinking that that will look good and stay into that pose. So you have to move around and, and let your body be and try to relax in your pose in order to get something more natural. Here we go. Something more, um, we, we say candid. Um, it's always best. Of course, this is part of shooting. There's always people on the beach and there is always the wind and the sand and you want to try all kinds of things and sometimes it does work and sometimes it doesn't work and it does feel really awkward to shoot when there is people around you because you have to deal with the judgmental looks and also looks of disapproval of other people uh, looking at what you're doing because when you're shooting you have to pretend to be basically pretend to be the hottest thing that walks the planet because it's the intent you need to give in the picture to transmit like a good energy and voila, the people. So yes, so voila. So you need to have that intent. So it's not only the posing, it's also the energy you give and you have also to understand the lighting a little bit because it's the light that will flatter you or unflatter you. Because sometimes when you look really bad in a picture, it's not necessarily because you're not photogenic. It's maybe because you just didn't understand how to place yourself for the light according to the shot you want to take. So, I, well, I try this pose and as you see, I'm turning my back to the sun. And um, also, I didn't choose um one of that series of picture because when i looked at them on the screen it, it didn't look good on on picture so in order to have like one two three four or five good pictures in a photo shoot which is a lot in one photo shoot you need to shoot a lot of picture usually um i shoot for an hour and a half we have about a total of 200 and 250 shots and in those shots usually i get four four picks that are good it's it's a very very small ratio 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 excuse my french uh, again in the water we see all those shots in magazines and stuff like that it looks super easy looks super simple but the reality of the matter it is really 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 difficult because first of all you get wet and there is wind and there is movement and and you don't know if the light hits you properly but anyhow um, you have to try you have to try all kinds of different things and sometimes you think that um, sitting down in the water is better but 
then and then you have people passing by and looking at you thinking you're like a crazy person and you think you're they think you think of yourself as a princess they have all kinds of opinions anyhow which I'm not, by the way. I'm a very grounded person. I'm very approachable. Yes, I'm shy. I'm also, um, how do you say, I'm not comfortable with a large group of people that I don't know. And I appear to be a little bit standoffish because, because I'm very shy. That's the reality. Unless I'm on a stage, then I'm okay because, I don't know. I'm in control I guess so anyway so here you go and then you think you're just walking around and then you get the best candid shot ever I love it I love it in color but I think in black and white it pops out even more so you're very lucky because I have not published these pictures and I kept them for you subscribers of my channel and viewers because I wanted to give you a little spoil. Um, again, we're reaching the end and uh, of this vlog. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned a little bit more about me and that you're getting to know me a little better. And um, please subscribe to my channel. Give me some thumbs up, write some comments. If you have questions, I would love to hear them and I would love to answer them as well. I'm very communicative. Um, yes, that's that. So again, I'm very grateful that because of you, I am able to do what I love. And I love to share, I love to travel, and I love to have you as an insider eye into my world. So here's some, some extra shots for you that I really liked. Bye.